I'm constantly complaining about how lip swatch videos are my least favorite to film but then Rihanna keeps launching these lip shades what am I supposed to do Ali, welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be looking at the brand new Glossy Posse Hollow Days edition that Fenty Beauty just released. This isn't their first sort of lip gloss collection. They did have a holiday collection last year that I did pick up and I have a video on this. So if anyone wants to see the shades in here, then I will leave a link to that video down in the description box down below. But this is last year's. And this middle shade here isn't actually the original shade. The shade that was in here was Hot Choco Lit, which I have lost. But the other ones are the original shades that were in here. So if you guys do want to see how these sort of wear on me, then go ahead and check out that video. Then come back and see how these new shades look. So this is what the packaging for this one looks like. Honestly, to me, it is a little bit of a downgrade from last year's packaging. I do really like the tin that we had last year. But this is the packaging for this one. And as you guys can see, unlike last year, we only have four lip glosses in this collection. As opposed to last year where we had five. I feel like last year's one was either 34 or 36 pounds. And this one is... I think 30 you'll have to you know don't quote me on that but i think this set was 30 pounds i would have liked a fifth shade but you know i'm not complaining i am not complaining so this is what we have i'm not going to give you guys a whole spiel on the gloss bomb formula because you know by now we know we know the first shade we have is baby brew or baby brute i'm not sure how it's said but this is just described as a shimmering gold and when i saw this one i instantaneously thought of the shade sweet mouth which came out last year so i did dig mine up so this is sweet mouth and this is baby brew honestly they look almost identical i was shocked i was was not expecting that at all but this is sweet mouth just so you guys remember and baby brew so we are going to go ahead and swatch so this is what baby brew looks like on the back of my hand so when i shift it this way it kind of looks like a clear weird sort of shimmers in it what color shimmers are they the shimmers to me honestly are on the silver side. I'm not sure why it's described as a shimmering gold. I'm definitely getting silver vibes from this. And just for comparison's sake, I am going to go ahead and swatch Sweet Mouth right next to it. So Sweet Mouth is on top and Baby Brute is on the bottom. And yeah, so Sweet Mouth has definitely got a bit more of a peachy pink sheen to it in comparison to Baby Brute. But now I'm going to go ahead and swatch Baby Brute on my lip. So this is Baby Brute. It's very, very subtle. It's very light. I'm not sure if it's one of my favourite gloss bomb shades. It's kind of down there with Diamond Milk for me. It's not, like, stunning. It's cute. But I'm not blown away by this shade, you know. This is definitely a shade that I would put on top of another product to add, like, sort of a gloss. Because I know that I already like the gloss bomb formula. This one is definitely giving me topper vibes. The next shade we have is Taffy Tease. This one is described as a shimmering coral. And this colour honestly looks gorgeous. So we're starting with our hand swatch as always. So there is Taffy Tease. I always find swatching lip products interesting on my skin complexion. Especially glosses because they sort of just blend into my skin and just look clear so that is what it looks like on the back of my hand now let's go ahead and see how it looks on my lips oh so here is taffy tease 
So we've got a slight hint of a pink. It's like a peachy pink or a coral, if you will. I mean, it is described as a coral. This one's cute. I like this. It's like a very subtle hint of pink that we're getting. It's not too far from how Baby Brute looked, but it's just got that hint, a hint that makes it different. And I like it. I think one thing with pink shared out products for me is that they can very easily start to make my lips look kind of gray bluey and this isn't giving me that vibe so we can only stand i like it the next shade we have is cake shake and this is a shimmering bronze looking at this one i can see that it has sort of like silver shimmers in it and i'm not sure how i'm gonna feel about that because i don't know it looks sort of intergalactic from the tube but you know what fussy sort of kind of looks like that as well but i'm hoping that this isn't gonna look terrible i also went ahead and re-swatched baby brew on my hand so you guys can sort of see how the shades compare next to each other so we're gonna go in with cake shake so that is how cake shake swatches on the back of my hand it's interesting that they all look different though on the back of my hand i like that i think that's very nice and it's nice to know that you know they're not sort of all gonna swatch the same but taffy teas i'm feeling taffy teas right now i'm not gonna lie to you i am Okay, this one isn't bad as well. I think what I've discovered about myself is that the closer to sort of a silvery white colour the gloss bombs are, the less I like them. Because I think my least favourite of them all is Diamond Milk. I've never purchased that product and I just never will. It's just not a shade that I like. I much prefer Confetti, which was in the collection from last year. Because this one, it's sort of like Baby Brute, but it has... A different sort of undertone to it it's definitely not as like white or as silver on the lips and I'm here for it I like I like the last shade that we have is ruby milk and honestly you guys when I tell you that this is the shade that I was most excited for when I saw this collection I am um, already obsessed and i haven't even tried it on so i'm really really hoping that this shade delivers this it's a sort of a deep plum and i am i don't even know how to explain but oh i'm so excited i'm so excited let's go ahead and swatch let's swatch oh please be pigmented please please okay so we're back on my hand i'm excited oh okay 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 So that is Ruby Milk, and as you guys can see, it's deeper than all of the shades here. But I mean, of course, it looks deeper on the packaging. So that's how it looks on my hand. And now we are going to go and swatch it on my lips. Hmm. Hmm. It's cute, but it's definitely not how I expected it to be. I don't know. I don't know. I expected to love it a lot more than I'm loving it right now. I think over here it looks a lot more pink. And on my lips it's definitely pulling a lot more purple. Like, I'm not mad at it, but it's not my favourite in the collection. I think Taffy Tease is going to have to be my favourite. I think I like how that one looks the most. I really wanted... This is gorgeous. Look, it looks absolutely stunning. In the tube, but I don't know. It's not really translating on my lips. Now that I've swatched them more, I genuinely feel like I preferred last year's collection to this collection. I feel like the shades in here were just a lot nicer and i enjoyed playing with these a lot more i will say that that last ruby milk shade that we used looks very similar to pretty please from last year so this is the pretty please lip gloss from last year's glossy posse collection and here is ruby milk so as you guys can see 
they are quite similar but this one's definitely got a bit more of a redness to it but i do actually prefer pretty please and i will swatch it on top of ruby milk just so you guys can see so there is pretty please and there is ruby milk just underneath it so yeah i prefer the pink in the pretty please shade you can never really go wrong with gloss bombs they are a really good formula i think i have over 20 of them now so it's not a secret that i love gloss bombs the smell is exactly the same in all of them and i absolutely love 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 the scent it's so yummy and just you know you know yeah I think having minis is something that I definitely enjoy, which is why I always like buying these sort of sets and everything like that. But this one definitely doesn't compare to the original Glossy Posse for me. The OG is definitely the favourite. That's just me personally. I don't know. I feel like this one was definitely a lot more centred on holographic silvery kind of undertones. And, you know, that's not really me. Diamond milk is not my portion. It never has been and it's never going to be. So, you know, these are still wearable though. I still will definitely wear these. But as far as my opinion goes, OG Glossy Posse is where it's at. OG. I hope you guys liked watching this video. Make sure to leave a comment in the comment section down below. What was your favourite shade? What wasn't a shade that you liked? Is this better than the original Glossy Posse? Let me know what you guys think. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed. And I'll see you guys in my next video.